Hi, I'm Rocco Stano and welcome to Storymakers. Today, we're going to be speaking with Daniel Bernstrom, the author of A Bear, A Bee, and A Honey Tree. Hey, that's the bee from my book. Well, now we have a bee and Daniel, if I'm not mistaken, that's a bear costume that you have on, right? You're right. I am wearing a bear costume. Yeah, I like it. So now we have the bee and the bear, and all we need is the honey tree. So tell us, how are the three of these related? Well, you have a bee who makes honey. You have a bear that likes to eat honey. But do they all get along? Not really. <laughs> the bear wants to eat it. The bee wants to protect the honey. And so you have a problem. And that's why a bear, a bee, and a honey tree are all related. I love the bear outfit. Did you wear that while you were creating this book? <laughs> no, I didn't wear it when I was making the book, but I do feel like a bear because bears are always hungry and I'm always hungry. So I thought, why not be a bear? I love it, yes, terrific. You know, in your book, adjectives play a very important role. Can you explain what an adjective is? Yes, I can, but I'm an English teacher and I'm gonna give you the English teacher answer. An adjective describes a noun. I know that sounds really confusing, but an adjective is a description word and a noun is a person, place, or thing. So a noun could be a person, a mom, dad, brother, sister, teacher. It could be a place, school, house, a tree, or a thing, honey, a bear, or a bee. And so anything that describes that, brown, pink, blue, orange, busy, angry, fuzzy, those words would be adjectives. So Daniel, how do the illustrations in the book show the adjective? In the book, you'll see a bee and a bear. The book opens this way, a bear, a bee, and a honey tree. There's no adjectives there. But then the first adjective that we meet is busy, and we see a busy bee hopping from flower to flower. As the book goes on, we see a busy bear climbing the tree, looking for the honey. You could see an angry bee, and then a running bear, and then a hiding bear. All those words, angry, running, hiding, fretful, busy, those are all adjectives. There are so many adjectives, and I'm sure they didn't all make it into the book. Were there some adjectives that you liked that did not make it into the book? Yes, Rocco, there were a few. Like, I like the adjective luminous, and I like the adjective yellow and frantic, and worried, none of these adjectives made it into the book. Hey Daniel, why don't we ask our viewers to choose an adjective to describe something? Rocco, that's a great idea. Hey viewers, choose an adjective and noun and create a drawing from those two words. Hey Rocco, what two words are you going to choose? I would choose happy for my adjective, and hippo for my noun. What adjective and noun would you pick? That's a hard one. Hmm. You know what? I would pick pink for my adjective and bear for my noun. Well, here we go. Let's draw those pictures. I'm ready. Hey, Daniel, let's say you're a pink bear. That's really good. I'm going to show you my happy H-I-P-P-O, H-I-P-P-O, my happy hippo. It's, it's happy, Rocco. And <laughs> yeah. It's a hippo. Thank you. It is happy. Viewers, now it's your turn. Choose an adjective and noun and draw a picture and share it with us. Daniel, before we leave, I just have one last question. Uh, so... Do you wear that bear costume all the time? Rocco, 
I wish I did, but I have to go out in public and I think people would be afraid of me if there was a big bear walking around. <laughs> I think you're right. Well, thank you so much for being with us and sharing adjectives and nouns. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for inviting me. And remember, until next time, read a book in any format. <laughs>